Alright lads, we just did a short on how to start fire in wet conditions, so I'm making it wet again. But this is going to be the long version of that. I've had these uh, little wax balls out here overnight, so they're soaking wet, it's been raining all night. So the first thing you're going to want to do in a wet in a situation where you've got a lot of water is you're going to find any kind of, try to get as dry a platform as you can. Um, so I've been using my knife to kind of scrape things off. It's still soaking wet and slushy down here, but that shouldn't matter much in the long run. You don't need to split a whole bunch of wood. You can do this on the bare ground if you want. So just try to get all the snow and stuff off. It's, it's going to keep snowing like it is, but we're going to do this anyway. So you want to take your, your, your wet kindling. And like I said, try to get as much of the weather off of it as you can and just set it somewhere like that. Next, you're going to want fatwood. Fatwood is extremely flammable and works well even when it's wet. What you're going to do is just going to want to scrape the fat. And you can do this with the edge of your knife. This is what you want to do. It goes quicker with the edge, but I've heard that it also screws your edge up. As I have been using my knife so much lately, I need to resharpen the spine. We're going to do it this way. So once you get about a teaspoon of these these wispy curl things scoop them up wet water and everything and put them with your wax uh, your put them with your your kindling and then you're gonna want to take some wax and scrape that too not a whole you don't need a whole lot just enough to melt and to help feed your fire so once you get a, a few of these wax shavings stick them in there as well the wax will burn and melt into the wet stuff help keep it dry Next thing you want to do is, is even though you've got your, your fat wood, that might light, you're going to want a couple curls anyway. So, so just make a few curls of fat wood like this. Break that off and just plop it right in there with the mix. You can kind of pat it all down, get everything together. Oops, what am I doing here? The idea is you create enough flammable gases that it overcomes the steam coming off of the whatever years you're you're gonna light on fire so so if you, if you don't feel like you've got enough uh, just make a few more it's all good okay the next thing takes a minute um, once you get a few curls going and everything's all hip to jive there take your ferro rod and and if the spines I need to sharpen my spine but it should work anyway just scrape some metal into a pile. Now don't go quick because you're just going to be burning up what you're scraping. Even if it's wet, just keep on scraping like this. I mean, a shaky shaky makes this hard because sometimes those shakes make it go quick. So you're going to try to get some shavings down here. Now if you don't have really hardened spine, this will dull your spine, so Keep that in mind. Yeah, once you get a few, don't accidentally spark them like I just did. Just, just keep going. Oh, there we go. When you're ready, go, then go ahead and spark it, and uh, your fat wood will catch fire. The little wisps will catch fire. So, so kind of aim toward them. And if you don't get it right away, don't be discouraged. You can continue doing it. We're not in a hurry, unless you are in a hurry. But I'm not, and this is my video, so we're not in a hurry. Just keep scraping those little chunks of, of ferro shavings. And if I can do this without sparking, I'll show you about how much you want to have. And I'm rotating my rod just to give me a cleaner edge to scrape. And once you get a big flat space on your rod, <laughs> I'm going to take all day if I keep doing this on accident. Once you uh, get a flat space on your rod, it becomes a little bit harder to, to scrape off of. So Once you get... Uh, on here and you figure out your rod and your edge doing this isn't too tough unless your hands shake like crazy but that's all right so I'm gonna put these in a pile wet and everything and get them all together 
I don't know if you can see this or not. Like zooming in on the right place here. You see how much shavings that is down here? It's all kind of silver in this area around my knife tip. I hopefully you can see this, but down in this area, it's all kind of silver flecks in there. It's all mixed in with the water here. And then kind of try to keep your some of your shavings together here. What I'm doing is I'm just moving some of these wispy guys over to those shavings and get them off the end of my ferro rod, kind of working them into a pile. And then I'm gonna give it a good hard, firm strike forward. And there we gotta start. If it doesn't work, like I said, back to it. Just make a pile of these shavings. And you'll see when you get a fair few down there, it'll look like just curls of steel. And then once you get a few down there, a hard strike forward. Try to light that fat wood on fire. Once you get some of it going, just organize your stuff and it'll start going. And there you go. That, my friends, is how you get a fire started. And once you get to this point, you're, you're far from done. Um, you're gonna hear lots of water boiling off of this thing. You want to get your wax to melt and melt into the little chunk of whatever you got to burn. But again, looking, looking at it right now, you've got plenty of time now to get some, get your, your kindling on here. You wanna have all that prep. You want a good amount of it, about as big around as your, your calf. A chunk of, of dry-ish, I mean twigs. The smaller the better. And then you lay that on top. Um, what you also wanna do is to have this set up against a couple logs like this so that you've got a bit of an area to lean material up against, right? And that, once you get everything all prepped and put together, even the most wet material, uh, you'll be able to ignite even the most wet material. Um, this is just some jute twice, been hanging out, soaking for a while. But that really, that's, uh, that's it, my friends. Um, there's really no big secrets to this. You just gotta practice it. And, but again, wax and fat wood are, are your friends. This is one reason why I, I go with the ferro rod nine times out of ten. You cannot do this when you're trying to you know, rely on an ember fire with a bow drill or a hand drill or a fire piston or a flint and steel uh, without perfectly bone dry tinder. You just can't do it. Um, anyway, that said, love your faces and uh, thank you so much for joining me. Like, subscribe, share, all that jazz, and I will see you on the next adventure. It's been about five minutes and it's still still burning that little piece of waxy um, waxy substance. If I get even wet wax and put it in there, it'll melt and it'll burn, but this should give you plenty, plenty of time to get a fire going. I highly, highly recommend you keep some kind of wax material in your fire kit and uh, you'll you'll be able to once you get follow these basic rules, you'll be able to you'll be able to get a fire going no matter what. Anyway. It is soaking wet out here, so I'm going to head for cover and uh, love your faces. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching.